topic six, homework problems. Number one, we want to solve this by integration by parts. So one of these we have to treat as derivative. The other one we'll take the um, antiderivative of it, or the integral. So the polynomial 2x minus 1, we'll start taking derivatives of that. And then we'll take antiderivatives e to the negative x. Okay, the derivative here will be 2 and then 0. In order to take the antiderivative of this, we recognize that we have e to the negative x dx. And we're going to let our u replace the, um, the negative x. So when we take a derivative here, we'll get du equals negative 1 times dx. So we see that in order to replace this with du, we need a negative 1 and a dx. So here's the negative 1 on the inside, e to the negative x. And then another negative 1 for this. So these two become, let's see, e to the u, and this becomes du. So the antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u with a negative 1. So the antiderivative of e to the negative x will be negative 1 times e to the u, which is the same thing as negative e to the negative x. So the antiderivative of this is negative e to the negative x. The next antiderivative will put another negative, which will get positive e to the negative x. And let's put here plus minus plus. We'll combine these, combine these, and this will be our constant. So when we combine these two, we have 2x minus 1, e to the negative x. And that's going to be a negative, so we'll put a negative there. The combination of these two puts a negative 2 and e to the negative x. And this right here is going to be our constant, so plus c. And I want to factor out the negative and an e to the negative x. So negative e to the negative x. And that will leave behind the 2x minus 1 and also a positive 2 plus c. This can be combined, so we get e to the negative x and 2x plus 1, all plus c. Okay, next one, number 7. Number 7, we're going to take this apart a bit and have it as 2x plus 1 times e to the negative 4x dx. And we'll have a portion for derivative, the other portion for antiderivative. And we'll take the 2x plus 1 for the derivative and the e to the negative 4x. Now the derivative of this will be first 2 and then 0. The antiderivative will have the reciprocal of the derivative here, as we did before which will be negative 1 fourth e to the negative 4x. Another antiderivative will give us a neg another negative 1 fourth which makes us which gives us 1 over 16 e to the negative 4x. Okay, from there, plus minus plus, we're going to combine these two, these two, and our constant will come from the combination of these two. So we multiply these two, we get negative 1 fourth e to the negative 4x and the 2x plus 1. The combination of these two, 2 times 1 over 16 will give me one, negative 1 over 8. Okay, 2 and the 16 simplified to 1 8. And e to the negative 4x and then plus the constant c. Alright, from here I can factor out a negative out of both. I've also factored out the e to the um, four, uh, negative 4x out of both. And I have a common denominator of 8. So, I factor out negative the 1 8, the e to the negative 4x power. And that will leave behind 2x, sorry, a 2 on the outside of here. A 2. 2x plus 1. And then the 1 8 out of this will leave a plus 1. And I think that's all that can come out. Put all this in a big parenthesis, and then the C at the end. Again, this too came from the fact that I'm taking a one eighth out of this. So two times uh, one eighth would give me the one fourth. So if you multiply this back here, negative one eighth times the two would give you the negative one fourth again. Okay, and I think we got everything out. 
So let's distribute this. So negative 1 eighth e to the 4x. And we'll get 4x inside plus 2 plus 1, all plus c. OK, and we can have, let's see, let's go and just clean this up a little bit. Um, let's say e to the negative 4x all over 8, the negative there. And this becomes 4x plus 3, all plus c. OK, number 8. One of these will take the derivative, the other the antiderivative. We'll take the derivative of natural log of x and the antiderivative of x cubed. The derivative of this will be 1 over x, whereas the antiderivative of this will be x to the 4, and then times the reciprocal, 1 4. So we're going to combine these two right here, and then we'll make this uh, the derivative. So these two co combined become 1 4, and we have x to the 4 and a natural log of x. Then we have minus the combination of these two, which is the integral of 1 fourth and x to the third dx. All right, let's pull that 1 fourth out to the outside. And now when we take the antiderivative of this, we're going to get the um, x to the fourth power and also the another reciprocal, which is 1 fourth here, and then plus our c. So what I end up with is 1 over 4, x to the 4, natural log of x. This becomes negative 1 over 16, x to the 4th power, plus c. Now we do have a common factor of um, x to the 4th. And the common denominator will be 16, so we'll take that out. So the Taking out a 16 is like multiplying everything by 16. So this becomes a 4 in natural log of x, and this becomes a negative um, 1, and then all that's plus c. Okay, number 11. We're evaluating the area between negative 1 and 1 of this function. Now, to take the antiderivative of this, I'm going to make the derivative an integral. Let's see, let's make the polynomial the derivative. 9x squared plus x, and then the antiderivative e to the negative x. So the derivative of this will be 18x plus 1. The next derivative of this will be 18, and the next derivative of this will be 0. The antiderivative e to the negative x will be e to the negative x times the reciprocal of the derivative, which is negative 1. The next derivative will be e to the negative x, the next, which will, the reciprocal will now give us positive 1, and then the next derivative or antiderivative will be e to the negative x and a negative 1. Okay, now let's put in the combinations. Okay, and plus, minus, plus, minus. So these two, these two, these two, and this will be our constant. Okay, we have a negative here, and then the 9x squared plus x, and the e to the negative x. And then this combination right here, which has a negative 18, let's keep that in parentheses right there, negative 18x plus 1, and then that's e to the negative x. Then this combination of these two, we have a negative and an 18 here, get e to the negative x. And there won't be a c, we won't put a c here, because it will cancel out. Okay, now we're putting in the 1 and the negative 1. Let's see. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. And. Oh, no, let's not clean it up. Let's go ahead and just put the numbers in there. Let's put 1 in there. And also negative 1. So I put 1 here for x. I'll get 9 plus 1, which is 10. So that'll be negative 10. And this will be e to the negative 1, which is all of e. I put a 1 here. This will give me 18 plus 1, which is 19, negative 19. And a negative 1, so that's under e. And a 1 here will give me e to the negative 1 power. So that'll be minus 18 over e. Okay. 
type in the next part, putting negative 1 in here. Putting negative 1 in here will give me a, a 9, yeah, a 9, take away 1, which is 8, that would be a negative 8, and a B. And the E will, see, this will counsel give me a positive 1, so this will be E to the first power. Putting a negative 1 here gives me negative 18. A negative 18 plus 1 is negative 17, but what this makes is positive 17. And this will be E. Okay. And this will be negative 18 and E. Alright, and let's go through and combine all these. We've got a negative 10, a negative 19, a negative 18. So we add those together, we're going to get 7, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the negative 47 over E. And over here, we're going to get, let's see, these two give me negative 1E and negative 9E. And so finally, these two will become positive, and I'll have 9E minus 47 all over E for that.